In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the AI Nurse Copilot. So first, what you're going to want to do is go to your settings. Why? Because you're going to be able to add your own logo here that will appear whenever the patient opens an AI Nurse Copilot interaction. So I'm going to add the sample logo here. And another thing that you can do is add a scheduling link for cal.com. So if you do have integra integration um, with DeepCure on cal.com, you can add your scheduling link here so that the AI nurse can also provide this. So all you do is go to cal.com, go click on copy link to event and paste it in there. Now also make sure that your username here is what you would want the um, the patient to see is your name because this is why it's what is going to show up in the email that your patient receives this name and also in your organization name. So make sure that you have this saved here properly and then just make sure to save your changes. Now, if we go to AI Nurse Copilot and create an AI Nurse uh, for, let's say, Jane Doe, and then we put in Jane Doe's email. In this case, it's just Deep Cura's email. And we select a, an AI Nurse Copilot sequence template. Now, what exactly does this mean? This is just the instructions for the AI Nurse. As a lot of you may already know, the instructions for the AI nurse are just as customizable as the note templates. Okay. Now, the reason why we call them sequence templates is because the AI nurse templates tend to need a little bit more st structure um, in, a, in kind of a sequence sort of way. So you need to kind of guide the AI in order of what it needs to do when it's interacting with your patient. So let's take a look at this example. You are an AI medical assistant that helps the doctor do pre-charting or the healthcare provider. Please follow these instructions in order. Now, this first instruction that you see here is very important. You need to tell the AI to only ask the patient one question at a time. Otherwise, it might give, um, might send your patient all the questions at once. And obviously, we do not want this. So you add this instruction you um, tell the patient, okay, ask them the following questions. And in this case, I just gave it a very simple list of questions. In your case, you can even make the questions conditional. So tell the AI if the patient answers this uh, to this question, then ask this and stuff like that. So you can really make it your own. We are going to have a few sample templates for you in the template library if you just want to use those. But again, you can customize it yourself. Now, as a third step here, I ask it to generate a note based on the gathered information and using the following structure. So basically, I'm giving it my own preferred note template that it can use to make a, a note based on the conversation that it has with the patient. And as a fourth step, I ask it to ask the patient to verify that the information in that note is correct. So this also protects you, protects you further. Right. And it's going to go on a loop until the patient says, yes, that is correct. And then at the end, I tell it to provide this link um, to the patient. Um, in this case, was, just as an example, I added a telehealth link, but it can be to your own website, to, con to some consent forms they need to sign, to anything that you want, really. And it can also provide the patient with information, not just links. So. Um, really uh, it's up to you what you want to do with it so once you have this set up you copy all of that and you go to create a sequence template and you give it a title so let's say this is going to be our intake form template and here we paste all of that and then here you get the option for welcome message. What welcome message are we talking about? Well, when your patient and you're going to see this when we actually open up the AI nurse interaction, um, when you op uh, when your patient opens it, the AI nurse welcomes them with uh, a message. This message you uh, we have a default one, but you can also customize it to something that you would like. So maybe one option that I would even recommend is something like this like this sample message. Hello, 
type start and press enter on your keyboard or click submit to begin. And you can use the microphone to interact with the virtual assistant or with the AI nurse or whatever you want to call her um, and or type your responses. If you use the microphone, remember that you don't need to click submit. Just select the microphone once and let the assistant do the rest. Simply respond as if you were talking to a real person. Now, the, the goal here is to instruct your patient a little bit on what exactly it needs uh, they need to do. Maybe especially for older patients and then a little bit more guidance, just um, it might not be as intuitive for them. So you can do something like this or you can make it completely your own. In my case, I'm just going to use this to show you. I'm going to paste all of that in there. And then you can also add a HIPAA and a consent form and your own terms and conditions for the patient to agree to. So I also added a sample consent form here or HIPAA form um, just so you can see what it looks like when we actually open the AI nurse. So I'm just going to paste all of that in there. And then here in the link section, I'm just going to actually use the same one I added to the sequence template and submit. Now, another thing that you can do is select the language that the AI nurse um, is going to be using with this particular patient. So right now I'm gonna keep it as English, but I can use a bunch of other different languages, okay? Now, just remember that whatever language you choose, it's important that you choose the proper one uh, when it comes to whatever uh, language your patient will be using, but also that the instructions are in that language. Okay. Um, so this, if I wanted uh, to send an AI nurse uh, copilot in Spanish, then ideally, or actually the, the instructions should be in Spanish as well. And then remember, you can add your uh, logo to the settings page and it'll auto automatically appear. Um, when your patient, uh, when you're creating this this AI nurse copilot for the patient, so finally, that was um, a lot of talking there, but a few important points you need to know. So now let's just submit that. Oh, I didn't select my template. <laughs> so intake form template and then submit. Okay, so now your patient has received a link with the where it's going to interact with the AI. Let's open that up. Okay, so I have it all opened up here. So basically the email, something like this, hello, patient's name, we look forward to seeing you at, and when whatever organization name you put in your settings and um, the link to where it's, they're going to interact with the AI, the password, and uh, at the end, it just says your name with your organization name. So let's go through all of it. Um, what we're actually, what we're going to do is here, I have it opened up in Chrome, but let's go back to Firefox. Nope, not here. Um, this Firefox. So I'm just going to open up the link there. So allow the microphone. So the first thing we see is the concern form and the terms and services that you added. So the patient, what they need to do is click on I accept and agree, and then click on continue. The next step is going to add is going to be adding the password that they received in the email. So let's just go ahead and paste that in there and submit. Hello, type start and press enter on your keyboard or click submit to begin. You can use the microphone to interact with the virtual assistant or type your responses. If you use the microphone, remember that you don't need to click submit. Just select the microphone once and let the assistant do the rest. Simply respond as if you were talking to a real person. Okay, so as you can hear, um, it has a voice, a pretty natural sounding voice. And if you um, put in or use different languages, it's going to be able to speak in those languages. Now, the first thing we notice here is the sample logo that we had added. So in your case, it's going to be able to show your logo, um, which is pretty cool. So um, the other thing that we notice here is this book and appointment link. As you can see, it's clickable. And this is because we added our cal.com link to when we created or to our profile settings. 
so they can just go directly here to book an appointment if they haven't already so now um basically here because of our welcome message that we customized uh, a lot of your patients should already know what to do they can simply just uh, type start or use the microphone um to get started or you know it's not necessary to use the start keyword uh you can they can say i have an appointment with my doctor today and get started that way the point is there's really no strict way of doing this it's just kind of a way to standardize it so your patients don't get confused so let's just go ahead. Can you please provide your full name? Okay, so now I'm just going to expedite this a little bit. So I'm just going to go through uh, all the interaction so we can see the note at the end and I'll, I'll just see you then. <laughs> Jane Doe. What is your date of birth? January 1st, 1987. All right. So I just got done with the whole interaction with the AI nurse. And as you probably noticed, I did not click submit at all. I just talked to the AI, I waited for it to finish reading off the message to me. Then I answered. Then I waited for it to submit uh, that answer, which it doesn't take long. And then so and so on until the end of the interaction. Right. So basically, as you can see here, it generated my note for me and you're going to be able to see this whole interaction happening live on your side. Um, so everything that the AI asks, everything that the patient answers. And as you can see here, you have a few little icons. So for example, you can save the, the notes that it made as a PDF or email it or copy it or, or edit it. And you're going to be able to transfer this to your patient notes. Now, before we do this, um, let me show you this example. I'm gonna click on book an appointment and it takes me directly to that booking link. Okay, so that's pretty cool. So now um, all I wanna do is show you how when you click on transfer to patient threads, it basically transfers as one whole note. Now you can delete what you don't want. Um, if you would like that, you can also leave it. Um, it's up to you. And after this, when you actually see your patient, you can go to where this AI nurse note was, or AI nurse copilot note was transferred, then do the interaction with your patient. So record your encounter, complete your session. Click on your templates that you want to use with uh, for that note. And then you can combine the the nurse, uh, the AI nurse co-pilot note with your own note for your encounter in a few ways. One, you could have had in your automation section, this auto append prior encounter toggled on. So if you had this, then you wouldn't need to do any extra steps. It should be able to use whatever um, note is directly previous to the note that you're generating. So it would have been able to use, in this case, um, the AI nurse note that's right before the new note that you were generating. It would have been able to use that information. Now, in another uh, another way you can do this is click on merge notes. So you can merge your new note with the AI nurse's note that's right before. So you can click that. And it would combine those two things. OK. So that's basically the way that you use the AI nurse copilot. 
Remember that we are going to have a few pre-made templates for you in the library, so it's not as overwhelming for you to come up with the instructions on your own. And you can just take those and make it your own if you would like.